I'm not saying his elevator don't go all the way to the top. What I'm saying is I don't think he has any stairs. All right, guys, let's kick this thing off. So uh, the grumpy men are back, and we're even more grumpier. This time we added, <laughs> what, 20? I'm not going to do the math. I'm a math teacher. I'm not going <laughs> to speak wrong on this. But we brought out, so we still got Joe and Andy and myself, and we're going to bring in uh, David this time as we do on uh, this filming session. We, we may rotate this around and get some guests in to get some different perspectives. Uh, so the more the merrier, I guess. You know, people said I was too quiet anyway so uh, we're gonna let some other people just fill that up but we're, we're glad to have david here that beard guy kansas city uh thank you for being here david yeah no problem it's uh it's a uh, awesome i'm in the best company i could hope to be in um, it's an honor to be here man i appreciate it all you guys Yes, we can put together our experience and age and i don't know what that would add up to be but it'd be a whole lot of years right yeah andy you doing okay today Yes, sir. Doing fine. Andy, Doing Andy fine. I'll have to say you cleaned up really, really well. I don't know how long it took you to look that good, but it was worth it, sir. <laughs> so here's the plan. I'm going to alternate. See, if I come out with the same thing, then it becomes a gimmick, and then I'm tied down to it. So I figure, you know, top hat next time, uh, you know, T-shirt with offensive slogan the time after that. Just keep rotating it. Uh, I'm waiting for you to bring out the monocle, and then that'll be that'll be. Mm, if, you do that. if it weren't those, those look painful to me. I mean, you yeah, walk around yeah. squinting the whole time, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Barbara Do Joe, how are you doing today, man? I'm doing well, man. Thank you. Good to have you, Dave. Um, pleasure to. I don't think you and I have actually ever, on any occasion, chatted in this domain. So it'll we be have, good to be able to have a chance to. We have not. Yeah. Cool. So uh, I think it was last weekend, I opened it up on um, Instagram just to see if any of our, uh, our, you know, our vast amount of viewers and followers had any questions for us. And there were a couple of questions. And I want to, uh, to read one of those or, or two of them because it was about products or carriers for gray beards. And do you gentlemen use any specific products for your gray beards? What benefits and why? And I thought that was a great time to bring in David because I know he started a series uh, on specifically gray beards and he's done some research and Andy is all about testing and carriers and all that kind of stuff. And Joe and I will just fill in wherever we can on that. So David, I'll let you start since you're the guest. So uh, with, and, and of course, I think it's going to be different for everybody's beard, but uh, my experience with my beard is so castor and argan are kind of the two go-tos when it comes to gray beards, the thicker oils. Um, I have found one that's not very often used, uh, but I have caught word of a product release in the next 30 to 45 days, specifically for gray beards, uh, that's going to use a kakui nut oil. And, and really the kakui nut oil has been my, my kind of go-to uh, since I found it in a product in UK in the UK they sent to me. Uh, but I think castor works well, uh, as long as it's a good castor, like I guess any other oils. Uh, and argan, it definitely works well. Um, I don't have a specific product that I go to. Uh, I have a, a very, very high porosity on my beard. So it kind of soaks everything up and dries it up pretty quick. Uh, so, so for me, it's got to be something thick that's going to be lasting. So those would be my top three it would be argan caster and kakui nut oil. Cool. Andy, what about you? Uh, well, <clears throat> definitely with him with the argan and caster. Um, with caster, as I've said numerous times, it, 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 it's not caustic. In the, in the clinical sense, but it is kind of rough on your skin. So I kind of rotate. And so I have my caster days, I have my non-caster days, and then I have my first aid days. So uh, because I, whenever I'm doing my shtick, I abuse my beard. There's been times when I've kind of scalded my skin uh, in a medical sense. And um, I ha so I have a particular company, Man Beard Company. They, uh, they, they their secret ingredient is their aloe vera. And they do the aloe vera better than anybody else that I have found. So whenever my skin is really just feeling raw, that's a Man Beard day. So you may notice I'm usually wearing a Man Beard shirt or a Man Beard hat. Um, Castor 
as long as it's a good quality, I absolutely agree with, uh, with Dave. Um, for me, the ones that are really, really high on caster, I tend to avoid, not because I don't like the companies, not because uh, I don't like the scent building, but just because they tend to be a little bit harder on my skin. Yeah, and for me, I don't have tons of gray, but I've got the, the stripe of gray. But just for me, just the, the carriers, I cannot pick out one carrier from the other. I, that's, that's just not me. I mean, I'm all about the feel in beer, and I can tell you if it feels good, but I've had ones that have, uh, you know, high caster that feels good. I've had ones that were thinner oils that feel good. So for me, I'm, I'm not to that level. I think maybe David and Andy have, yeah. have gotten to that level where they can tell what type of uh, uh, carriers are in there. And Joe, I know you're a scent guy. So are you, are you kind of the same way I am on that? Yeah. Um, although there have been a couple of companies, one in particular, which is fortunately no longer in business, Barber's Bay out of England. He had a really thick oil that my beard absolutely loved. But the few really thick oils I've tried, I've noticed my beard really likes. And uh, um, I've noticed, I've tried to get a little better, Brian, So, but I, I'm still on the low end of the spectrum. But um, I think Cat, for sure Caster and I think Argan also are, are real nice in my beard. I'm just happy I don't have a negative oil. There hasn't been an oil yet that, I, that I've had to put the kibosh on like some guys do. Yeah, that, that's, that's good. Um, for me, the, the heavy caster, especially the artiest man, when I first started growing a beard, it was way too thick. I had a short beard. And I tried it again later, and it just wasn't working for me. And then COVID hit, and I did not try to put oil in right out of the shower. I waited for everything to dry, to be more receptive. And now I can put in uh, some Artius Man, and I love it. Uh, but I have to wait, you know, a good 30 to uh, minutes to at least an hour after I've taken a shower. Because oil and water doesn't mix, especially that thick oil. So <laughs> it wasn't doing me any good because it wasn't really soaking in the right way. So I think there is... Uh, don't be afraid to change and to try something that you've, you've tried in the past, um, whether you're in a growing phase or just with experience, whatever. Sometimes something didn't hit you and then you try it an, again a year later and you're like, wait a minute, this stuff's great. What, what was I thinking? You guys ever had any of those kind of experiences where you've gone back to something and either you didn't like it the first time or, uh, or vice versa and you kind of changed your mind about it later on? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. But usually they're negative. Usually there'll be products that I like, and then I'll go back to them, and either the scent hasn't aged as well. Um, there's been a couple of companies that I thought, hey, this is, this is pretty good. And then weeks later, mere weeks later, I'm getting run out of rooms because I smell bad. Uh, whereas a couple of weeks prior, it was like, oh, you smell great. And so, hmm. Not, that's, that, that's, that's not really the carrier part of it. That's the fragrant part of it going bad. And that, that to me is still black magic. So I, you know, leave that one alone. I think I've, I've ran across a couple companies, uh, essentially the same thing as what Andy's saying. You know, a company comes out of the gate and they want their product to do well. They've done their research. Uh, they release a product that does awesome. And then, the demand comes and I, I don't know because I've never been on that side of it, but the choice has to be made. Am I going to continue to pay a high price for this or can I get something a little bit cheaper and maybe bring up the margins? Uh, and then the next thing you know, it, it's just not the product that it was meant to be. And, and that's unfortunate. I've seen it a couple times and, and that sucks, you know, having to talk to an owner like, hey, look, I don't know what's going on. It's not any of my business. Your product was great. And now it's not so great so what can we do to maybe remedy it and that's kind of what i ran into oh man I, I wanted to try out a new uh little bit less expensive oil and that just never goes well yeah yeah there's a, there's definitely some growing pains right whether it's with i mean whether, whether it's with customer service sometimes it's like they've grown so fast they can't keep up and right, right. you know you lose that personal small batch kind of touch or uh, or you'll find something like that where they've changed their changed their blend. Or sometimes I think it's just because there's so much good competition that the over the past two years the the choices and the quality of products has really gone up. And you go back and revisit somebody that hasn't uh, changed what they're doing since day one, and it's, it doesn't stack up anymore like it did. Joe, you got anything to add to that? Oh, uh, just on that, uh, just on that very note. Um... We'll call this 26 months I've been doing this because I started watching videos and buying product before I actually started my channel. And Artist Man was one of the earliest products I bought. Um, and I love their oil, 
So kind of like the same thing I have with Mountaineer. I love the the way the oil performed, but the scents were just so bland and basic. And I noticed that to me, since I knew of them, because Scuba was a big fan of theirs, to me, since I knew of them way back when, it seems like over the past, I don't know, four, six, eight months, they've gotten another push. Like you didn't hear too much about them, but now you're hearing a lot about them. And and I noticed that they have some different scents and, I, and you know, once bitten, twice shy. So I, I just I'm like, man, uh, uh, so... I probably should, but I just haven't pulled the trigger on going back to Ardia Smith. Well, I've tried just about all of them. So let me know uh, mm-hmm. if you want any suggestions on the, okay. the scents that I like. <clears throat> well, now keep in mind that <clears throat> a lot of times we kind of get, we get caught up in an information bubble. And if you go to Etsy and just type in beard oil, beard butter, beard products. There are literally thousands of companies out there that are not on Instagram. They haven't been reviewed by anyone. Now, are they good? I couldn't tell you. Who the hell's got that kind of money and time? But there are tons and tons of companies out there. And and that's not even including the dropship companies, which I know that in the community, there, there's two different minds on that one. And whether you be, agree with it or disagree with it, you know, that's cool either way, but there are so many companies out there doing something. It's almost like every soap company has it in their head. Oh, well, I can kind of do what I'm doing now and I don't have to wait six weeks for it to be made and I can go ahead and push it out. And, oh, but my husband loves it. Well, that's great. Your husband loves it. But what about the other, you know, three and a half billion men out there? Or is it going to be good on their skin? Uh, you like the smell of it, but what about the rest of the world? <laughs> so, there ain't no such thing as a good case of hemorrhoids. 